British buyers love their compact MPVs. Sales have doubled this year largely because these cars just make so much sense. If an MPV is your target car, you can choose a five-seater one like this, or this, or this, or even a seven-seater like this, this, or this. Why not go the whole hog and get seven? We'll tell you why not. The extra seats in cars like the Vauxhall Zafira and Renault Grand Scenic take up nearly all the luggage space. But there's a middle road you can take that has some major advantages. Choose a Honda FRV or a Fiat Multipler and you get all the luggage space of a five-seater but with room for that crucial extra person. The deal with the FRV is that three people can sit side by side in the front as well as the rear seat. It's not really that innovative if you can remember back to the days when cars had front bench seats, but it's still pretty radical in today's market. 2007 sees a facelift for Honda's curious family hold-all. The changes include a new dark chrome grille and the dubious fake wood replaced by metal and carbon. There are new brighter covers for those comfortable seats too. Inside the fit and finish are on a par with Lexus and all at prices that start around £16,000. There's a classy feel to this Honda. The steering wheel with its built-in controls to the pumping stereo system is a precision piece of kit. And the gear lever, sprouting from the dashboard, has a smooth and very precise action. Pity the handbrake is so awkward. There's a new petrol engine. Both the 1.7 and 2 litre units have been chucked out and replaced by a 1.8. It's a very sweet unit. But though this FRV will bowl along at a surprising pace, you'll need to use the gears to get the most of it. On long hills, you can even be forced to drop down two ratios in the six-speed box to keep the speed up. But despite that, the FRV is a delight to drive. It feels so right with great visibility and responsive handling in the bends. You even get accustomed to its width, which, remarkably, is no greater than a Scenic. Back to that interior, though. The three-seat configuration does mean nearly all the dashboard controls are out of easy reach. On the other hand, Honda has avoided the rubbing shoulders problem by making the middle seat slide back so that shoulders are out of line. A car like this needs its party tricks and the FRV doesn't disappoint. Not using the third front seat, flip over the cushion and you've got a useful stowage area and a small table. Or just tip the complete backrest forward to make an armrest. Need extra luggage space? The Honda's rear seats don't come out as they do in some rivals, but they do easily fold forward to reveal a massive cargo area. Honda seems to have thoroughly considered the compact MPV concept and come up with something a little out of the ordinary. If six seats are useful to you, the FRV has to be on your shortlist. As far as the good points are concerned, there's a quality feel inside and out, there's a smooth, easy driving experience and there's comfort and space. On the downside, the width might seem intimidating, the engine lacks low down pulling power and there's too many controls that are out of easy reach of the driver. 